everybody. This is Carol. Uh, today I wanted to show you a tag, a Halloween tag that I made. I joined a Facebook group. It's an exchange group called Create Exchange. And this this is our first tag that we we are swapping. Um I started out, I am on the Gecko Gas design team, so I use every paper and the pumpkin image on there are all from Gecko Gals. I use the Hocus Pocus um, collection, paper collection, and the, let's see, the Vanity Fair paper collection, which would be the three little tags that are underneath the pumpkin image. And the pumpkin image itself is from the Autumn Days collage set. Now the Happy Halloween tag that's up above the uh, image is in an envelope that also is part of the Hocus Pocus paper line. Okay, to start out with, uh, we needed to make a eight and a half by four and a quarter tag. The suggestion was to use Tim Holtz tag, but since I didn't have one, I just took a manila folder and I cut it down to size and uh, went from there. For added stability, I added a, a piece of really heavy duty card stack on the back which really started it up. And the reason I needed it extra sturdy was because I wanted to use the modeling paste, which you can see the black diamonds there. I took modeling paste and mixed it with some black ink, and, or not ink, paint, and a mask, and just went in random sp spots with the masking. Then I started layering my image. I love that pumpkin image. I had it in mind. I had it cut for a while. I wanted to do something with it and here was my chance. I put the, the uh, envelope back there up in the right hand, top right hand corner of the, under the image are a couple of pieces of the paper that I rolled up and distressed and tore and have that under there. I put uh, some gauze under the image that I had sprayed with browns and oranges and blacks to get me my Halloween-y, autumn-y colors. Tucked a couple of flowers, a couple under the bottom part of the image, and then another one up on the top. Um, I added, I had the the top piece of the orange paper, the orange striped paper, I had cut a slit and then rolled it back so that I can put some mesh in the back of that. I got the mesh, the mesh from Really Reasonable Ribbon. It was a natural color. Um, I'm sure they probably have a black, but I just took my natural and I sprayed it. The seam binding that I made my bow with is also from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Um, the three houses on the bottom, I used walnut stain, fired brick, and broken china inks. I inked the houses, then I took a white gel pen and outlined all the windows and doors. Then I went over top of that and inked it again to, to deepen the color. That part worked out perfect for me. The tree is, it's a mini tree from Dusty Attic. I added Tim Holtz Distress Powders to it in the uh, vintage photo. I don't know if I said or not, but I distressed all the edges of the the tags, all, all the papers actually, and the image, roughed all the edges, 
and added walnut stain and black soot to all of that. And up on top, the wire there, it's orange wire I found in the jewelry section in the dollar bin at Walmart. I just molded it into a shape of a pumpkin and tied it in and then you can see the little bits of, on the front part where I just curled it. And I think that's about it. That is my tag. Let's see, I'll give you a little bit of a close-up. Oh, shadow. Sorry, I'm trying to find a spot where it's not shadowing. There you go, the houses and my tree. My modeling paste. Oh, there are gems all over the place randomly on top of the uh, gauze, underneath the gauze, all up on top. Just like I said, all over the place. There's my wire. And my pumpkin. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Hope you all have a happy Halloween. And oh, I forgot to tell you, this tag comes out after Halloween is done. My swap partner can flip this around and have it hang around till Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanks again for stopping by. I will link Gecko Gals and Really Reasonable Ribbon down below. Thanks again.